But as it stands right now, what is in place by the Lagos State Government to ensure come February 1 that there will be adequate um, supply of transportation across Lagos? Because we can't deny the fact that Keke and uh, Okada, as it's, as it's called, they provide some kind of palliative for whatever gap exists in the transport system in Lagos State. So come February 1, what are we expecting from the Lagos State Government? Yeah, from February 1, what's going to happen is that, number one, there's going to be enforcement. And uh, like I said earlier uh, at uh, some other uh, forum, uh, we have hundreds of buses at the post that we are clearing. And then some other things are coming in, in terms of uh, taxi cabs and all that, that we are going to, even if they are not ready by February 1, they are on the way. And then apart from that, you know where the Okara people have been restricted. It's not as if there are no vehicles there. There are vehicles there. It's just that people prefer that they must go by Okada. They talk about uh, uh, congestion and all that, but they didn't think about the fact that Okada was part of this uh, congestion that we are talking about. Because they appreciated the kind of uh, mess on the road, they contribute to traffic and congestion. So it's not as if February 1, everything is going to break down. And like I said, by in early February, we are going to be commissioning these boats so that uh, we open up the waterways. People can travel from Ikurudu to Marina, from Marina to Maitu. So, so many yeah. things have been done. They may not happen immediately on February 1. But why the government is restricting Okada, banning them from a some route, is more important than even the idea of people moving from one point to the other.